Hi guys, welcome to my first video. So I thought I'd do this dewy skin, bronze, sort of summery makeup for you today, seeing as we are finally getting some sun here. So if you want to see how to get this bronze, summery look, then keep on watching. So to start off, I'm gonna put my moisturizer and my eye cream on. Um, I'm gonna put close-up shots of all the products that I'm using in as well, so you can see exactly what I'm using. I really like this moisturiser at the moment, it's quite cheap, um, I think it cost me about £10 from Boots, but it's honestly made my skin feel so much better, like it was really dehydrated before, but it just feels really nice and moisturised now. I'm going to put my new eye cream on, which is this Clarins one, so it's got this metal tip on it which feels really nice and cooling under the eyes. It's just gonna get rid of any puffiness and any lines as well. I do get quite bad dehydration lines under my eyes. And actually, this is the only thing that I've found that's worked so far. So moving on to my primer, I'm gonna take this Estee Lauder Illuminating Perfecting Primer and just pop quite a nice amount of that all over my face. for like a bronzed, beachy, glowy summer look today. So this primer is giving my skin a really nice glow which is gonna look really nice under my foundation. So for my foundation, I'm taking this Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear um, and I'm using the shade 010. I do have a bit of um, a gradual tanner on my skin at the moment which is why my neck looks quite a lot darker than my face. This foundation should match in nicely to my neck shade. And I'm just gonna apply it with this Real Technique stippling brush. So now that my foundation's on, I'm just gonna take one of my all-time favorite concealers, which is this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I'm just gonna pop that under my eyes and on any blemishes. setting powder to set under my eyes. I really like the RCMA setting powder at the moment. I hate the pot it comes in. I always take a bit out onto my hand and then pick it up with my sponge, but it just goes everywhere. Um, I know that some people do sort of decant it into another pot. So I might have to do that soon because it literally drives me crazy. Um, I'm just taking the rest of the powder that's left on the sponge and then just sort of packing that lightly with the rest of my face because I don't want to make my skin too much. I'm going to take the new Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick and just apply that under my cheekbones. I'm just going to apply a little bit on my forehead as well. So that gives such a nice, like natural looking contour. Obviously as this is a bronze look, I'm gonna take some bronzer. Now usually I would use Hoola to bronze up my face, but I think I'm gonna try a bit of Hoola light today. Um, it's a bit cooler toned than the original Hoola. So for 
blusher, I'm going to take the Hourglass Dim Infusion Blush. It's really pretty because it's got that sort of highlight shade throughout it. And I'm just going to pop that on the apples of my cheeks. So for highlight, I'm so excited to try this. I haven't even properly swatched it yet. I've been waiting for this moment. It's the new Bronze Goddess um, Limited Edition Illuminating Powder Jelly in Heatwave. It's literally the prettiest highlighter I've ever seen. Right, I'm gonna pick up my little fan brush and pop some of that on. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't quite expecting that. That's beautiful. I may have picked up a little bit too much on my brush at first. is literally blinding. <laughs> so next I'm going to move on to my brows. I'm going to take the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in shade 2. And I'm just going to use really light strokes through my brow. I really like my brows looking a bit more sort of messy and natural at the moment. So I'm just going to run a spoolie through them. And then just to set them I'm going to take some 3D brow tones. So this is a coloured gel. So it's just going to add a little bit more texture to them as well. Right, so moving on to the eyes, um, I might actually zoom in a little bit, wait a second. Yeah, that's better. Um, so I'm going to take this NYX Jumbo, what's it called? Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Gold and I'm going to pop that all over the lid, just like a base. And I'm just gonna blend that out with a fluffy brush as well. Even though it's called gold, it's definitely more of like a bronzy, coppery color. So in my crease, I'm gonna take some of the original Hula. I'm gonna take this MAC Extra Dimension eyeshadow in the shade Sweet Heat. And I think I'm just gonna pop this on sort of the inner third and the outer third. And then again, I'm just going to blend it with a blending brush. So I'm just going to build this up in layers until I feel like I've got the colour deep enough. For the centre of the lid, I'm going to take some of this Estee Lauder highlighter again. And I'm just going to take this on a small blending brush. So I've just gone back in and popped a bit of hula on the inner and outer thirds because I felt like they weren't quite dark enough, like the highlight in the middle was kind of blending in. So I think that's looking better now. 
I'm gonna pop some of the Heat Wave highlighter in my inner corner as well. So for underneath my eyes, I'm gonna take the NYX pencil again and just run that underneath the waterline. And I'm just gonna sort of smudge that out using a little pencil brush. I'm going to take a little bit of hula on the outer third of the underneath as well. I'm going to take this Colourpop eyeliner in the shade Dirty Talk and I'm going to pop that just on my waterline. I'm just going to curl my lashes before I pop mascara on. I'm going to put the Benefit Their Real Primer on first. So now that the primer's dried, I'm going to take my all-time favourite mascara, which is Benefit Roller Lash, and then I'm going to apply a few coats of that. I'm going to line my lips with this NYX lip liner in the shade Nude. I'm just going to fill them in with this really cute little mini Estee Lauder lipstick in the shade Desirable. I'm going to pop some of this Estee Lauder Tiger Eye Shimmer Lipstick over the top. I really want some extra shimmer as well. So I'm gonna take my Clarins Lip Oil in the shade Honey Glam and then just press that over the top. So that's my finished bronze, glowy, sort of gold summer lip. I really hope you enjoyed it because I really enjoyed filming it and I'm definitely going to film more videos because it's something I wanted to do for such a long time. So make sure you subscribe or hit the like button. You can find all my social media links in the down bar. So make sure you follow me on all of those. Yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.